All right. Let's talk about how we are going to proceed. We just got done with the glycolysis cycle. I'm actually going to draw out a little pathway. So we just got done with glycolysis. Glycolysis occurs in the cell cytoplasm. So it's going to occur in the cytoplasm of the cell. Next, we're going to create the pyruvate molecule that we got through glycolysis. And we're going to enter in the pyruvate decarboxylation reaction. The pyruvate decarboxylation reaction occurs in the mitochondrial matrix. So we have a mitochondria, which is going to be an organelle in the cell, and we're going to enter into its matrix, so the inside of the, uh, inside of the mitochondria. And it'd be the very inside layer. And this is where pyruvate decarboxylation occurs. So I'm going to write MM for mitochondrial matrix. And then from there, we're going to spit out an acetyl-CoA molecule, and uh, that's going to enter into the TCA cycle, um, also called the Krebs cycle, um, and we'll talk about that next. However, right now, the stuff that spans glycolysis and TCA is going to be the important pyruvate decarboxylation reaction. So let's talk about what it is. Before we draw anything on the board, let's look at the name, pyruvate. So we're going to take a molecule of pyruvate, we're going to decarboxylate it. So I'm actually going to talk about the pyruvate molecule a little bit. It's going to be a three carbon structure. So there's going to be one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, however you want to draw it. It's going to be a three carbon structure. Uh, what we're going to end up with is going to be a two carbon structure. Well, why is this important? Well, it means that somewhere in this reaction, we're going to lose a carbon. So we're going to lose one carbon. D carbon. Okay, so we took off, we decarbed pyruvate. Well, decarboxylation. So we take off both a carbon and some oxygens. So ultimately, we're going to lose a CO2 molecule. So somewhere in this reaction, we're going to spit off a CO2 molecule. So one, two, three carbons. Here's two of them. Here's that third. So we keep all the carbons the same. Um, so we know that we spit off a CO2 also. So that's what our name tells us. So let's, uh, let's actually look at this reaction. You're going to start out with the pyruvate as your reactant. Finally, you're going to end up with an acetyl-CoA molecule. This is the three-carbon molecule, two-carbon molecule. This two-carbon molecule is going to spit off into the TCA cycle, and it's going to keep spinning and spinning, producing ATP, producing FADH2, producing NADH, producing CO2. We will get to that. That is a fun one, let me tell you. You're lucky to, uh, to be learning this stuff. This is great. This is, this is high yield information right here. So, pyruvate decarboxylation. It's going to span glycolysis and the TCA cycle. It occurs in a mitochondrial matrix. We take a pyruvate molecule. We're going to convert it into an acetyl-CoA. Awesome. This is awesome. So what enzyme are we going to use? I'm going to get a different color, actually. Sorry about that. We are going to use pyruvate dehydrogenase. DH dehydrogenase. Oh man, you can't get much more high yield than that. This is a great question right here. What enzyme converts acetyl or pyruvate to acetyl CoA? Pyruvate dehydrogenase. What does that need? Well, it needs. Ooh, this one's going out too. He's red. It will need a NADH or NAD positive. Sorry, an NAD, and it will also need a CoA. Where does that CoA come in? Coenzyme A. It's going to need it. All right. So we attach a CoA to pyruvate. We're going to take off a CO2. So that goes in. What comes out? Well. And NADH, we're going to attach a hydrogen ion to the NAD. We get an NAD 
convert to an NADH. Like I said earlier in previous presentations, this is an IOU molecule. It will eventually get fed into the uh, electron transport chain and produce more ATP. For now, it's just an IOU of the body. So we have an NADH molecule. What else do we get out? We already covered it. It's a CO2. Excellent. This is easy. This is high yield easy right here. So we've got pyruvate molecule it gets converted to an acetyl-CoA in the mitochondrial matrix. It's going to span the glycolysis. Then it go to the TCA cycle. What we put in, we put in an NAD positive. It gets converted to an NADH molecule. Also going to need that CoA because somehow we get this CoA molecule attached. Well, that's our CoA. Like I said, we go from a three carbon to a two carbon molecule. Where does that one get lost? In the form of CO2. We're going to remove a couple oxygens as, as well. Now we can begin with the fun stuff. Pay attention because the uh, TCA cycle is going to be a fun ride.